is I adapt the best iPad Pro USB-C hub. We got one to test out. What's going on everyone? It's Andrew here from Apple Insider. And this is the iAdapt USB-C hub for iPad Pro. It's got a bevy of different ports and unlike other USB-C hubs that have hit the market for iPad, this one seems designed from the very beginning for the iPad Pro. A lot of other hubs looked like they were made for a computer first, and then in some way modified to work for an iPad. The Sateki ones, they all work just fine with your iPad as well as your Mac. Same with the Hyper one, but the iAdapt seems actually designed for iPad. It has a little spacer in here, which you can kind of see. Everything is a nice matte black, which makes it hard to show on camera. But it's a magnetic silicone covered spacer that allows it to work with or without the smart keyboard folio on the iPad Pro. It attaches really easily and extremely solidly. Simply take the iDAP to the top right hand corner and slide it into place with or without that smart keyboard folio attached. If you have the folio on there, just remove that spacer and it fits like a glove. Then just connect the USB-C cable. Otherwise, leave the spacer in there and use it without a cover on your iPad. Once connected, you'll see the adapter image appear in that top right hand corner on the blue background. Looking at the ports, we are both very impressed and slightly disappointed in the offering that is presented. So as far as why we're happy and impressed, it's pretty much the standard medley of ports that we see on all iPad center cups. But from Hyper to Techie, they all have pretty much the same configuration with a headphone jack, a USB-C port, an SD and micro SD card reader, a 4K HDMI output, a speaker grill here, which is unique to the iAdapt, it fits perfectly around the speaker grill, and a USB-A port here on the top. So a very good set of ports, but we do wish there's maybe one more USB-C like we have when we connect a non-iPad Pro hub. Now this works even better with iOS 13 that is launching this fall, particularly when it comes to external storage. So you can see we've connected our Victorinox USB stick right here and open the files app and we have access to that external storage. You can plug in hard drives, really like any external you have and just move files between them. So a hub like this becomes really important if you're trying to get a lot of work done and you have some external files that you need to deal with. You now have access to them within the Files app and any third-party applications that support the Files app and that browse function. So if we want to move something around, so we have some files stored on our SD card. I want to move them, I can move them straight to my iPad or I can move them to iCloud Drive or in this case I can take a photo, copy it and paste it right onto my Victorinox USB, take that out and hand it off. The biggest benefit to this thing is how stable and sturdy it is. When you're adding your stuff into this, it doesn't move at all. It feels like it is meant to be there. It is held on securely. It's not going anywhere. And we've had no problems actually connecting all of our devices. If we had to find any complaints at all is we wish there was maybe one more USB-C so we could charge and use USB-C storage at the same time. Let me know what you think on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and grab one at the link below in the description. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.